Vai Guji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guji Ki Fateh Ji. We'd like to welcome all the Sikh Channel viewers here today at the Rembrandt Hotel. We've got the Overseas Minister from Pakistan who will be addressing all the audience later on and talking about the Gurdaspur Corridor and also increasing initiatives for rel religious tourism into Pakistan. This is something we remember in our Das every day and it's great to see that work coming into fruition. We're very honored today to have our first Sikh Lady MP Preet Kaur Gill with us and I'd like to ask Preet to say a few words about her thoughts and views on this, this evening. Firstly, Vaikuji Ka Khalsa, Vaikuji Ki Fateh. I think uh, this evening is really important because the 550th Guru Nanak Dev Ji celebration is happening this year and it would be wonderful that uh, the Kartarpur corridor could be opened up because actually this is where Guru Nanak Dev Ji spent most of his later life um, and this important history um, when we go to Lahore at the moment we just go to Dera Baba Nankana Sev um, and other Gudwade but we do not get to go to Kartarpur. Now it's really important that India and Pakistan sit down together because there were talks scheduled in April which obviously got cancelled because of the general elections in uh, in India uh, and I'm hopeful that the talks should resume because I think it's really important that any security concerns on either side is actually addressed because what we are talking about is a diaspora community coming together to do an investment, an investment that they are uh, what they, they want to see actually become part of history and m remain there for future generations to enjoy and we know that uh, security is one of the biggest barriers to this project becoming successful so I think today is really important. I'm also really hopeful that Captain Amrinder Singh, um, Chief Minister on Punjab also supports this campaign because actually his role in this is also integral given the border security issues uh, for Punjab um, and so today it's wonderful to see so much diverse of a Sikh community from the United Kingdom and also obviously the Minister from Pakistan here today um, discussing what is going to be uh, a really interesting time because we don't have a lot of time as well. That's really important because the idea was that the corridor could actually be uh, set up for 550th celebration of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's um, Jalan but obviously um, let's see, I, I'm very hopeful. Thank you very much Preet Ji and it's a really important message that we living here in the UK enjoy many freedoms. For example, I know that I can very quickly travel to Paris, have lunch, come back for dinner. I look forward to, to the day that I can have kulche in Amritsar and kulfi in Lahore. Vaiguji ka khalsa, vaiguji fateh ji. Vaiguji ka khalsa, vaiguji ki fateh. My name is Manveer Singh um, from Central Gudwara Khalsa Jatha uh, in London. Um, I do a bit of work with the Sikh network um, and it's just really interesting today that we've managed to bring together uh, a, a massive cross-section of, of the Sikh community um, at the Rembrandt Hotel in London. Um, it's really interesting because we've brought together uh, through a variety of different people and avenues within the community brought together uh, a Pakistan tourism minister Zulfi, uh, Saeed Zulfi uh, Zulfi uh, Bukhari and um, the, the key thing about this is that is that you know he's here talking about Sikh tourism to Pakistan he's talking about Kartarpur corridor you know and what that means for for the Sikh community as we're aware you know I'd say 65 to 70 percent of our community's uh, heritage is actually within uh, Pakistan the Punjab's uh, Pakistan side of Punjab uh, so it's very important that Kartarpur happens uh, as you can see I mean you know as you can see from the people here it's a uh, it's a true swathe crossing swathe of the community in the UK cutting across all types of people from all over the country um, and it's great to see that Pakistani ministers are actively uh, looking to engage with the Sikh community and obviously um, try and drum up support for Sikh tourism and, and let's be honest there are plenty of Sikhs that have gone back to Pakistan and seen Nan Ghana Sahib. I know various trips were organized before by various people within the community but I think this this will now take that sort of thing to a newer level a much stronger level and I'm I'm very very glad to 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 say that Central Gudra 
Gerard Carter Jatta is completely uh, in London is completely supportive of um, completely supportive of the Kartarpur corridor, as is the Sikh network. And from what I, what I understand, the Sikh council, um, you know, is also fully supportive of it, and they're represented here today. The Sikh network is so you know all the major organisations that would represent the community. There's there's people from business here. Uh, Peter Singh Vridhi is here, um, obviously one of the more successful people from our community, and also a member of the Sangha that sent Central Gurdwara Khalsa Jatta London. So you know, there's, there's it's it's cutting across. Swedes, we've got ministers here, we've got lords here, and they're all supportive of this. So, you know, it's imperative that as a community we get behind this and really, really um, make a decent noise uh, about about this initiative and so we can push it forward, drive it forward for the benefit of our community on a global level, but also with regards to our community in India and obviously with regards to Kartarpur and the community in Pakistan. We're honoured to have uh, the Honourable Lord Lumba with us here today and uh, I'd like to ask Lord Lumba just to share some of his thoughts on the work and the efforts that have gone into the Qatarpur corridor by both the Pakistan and the Indian governments. और जो मैं सुन रहे हैं जब मैं देखिया कि कर्तारपुर कॉरिडोर खुल रहे हैं जिसे करके अपने सरदार लोग पंजाब जो जब बाहर ले मुल्का जो भी जा सकते ने गुरु नानक देव जी रा गुरुद्वारा देखन ले वो थे अपनी शर्दा पूरी करन ले ये दे तो बेटर कुछ नहीं हो रहा सर और मैं ये कहूँगा कि ये दोनों कंट्रीज पाकिस्तान और हिंदुस्तान आपस से बीच इन्हें दे बीच प्रेम प्यार बंधना चाहिए था बल्कि इस अनिश्चितता तो और भी अगे बदना चाहिए था मैं तो यही विश कराऊँगा थैंक यू लॉर्ड लुम्बा जी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सत्कार जी वाइग जी का खालसा वाइज फतेह जी आई एम लॉर्ड रणवीर सिंह सूरी आज दा जो ये कठे थे हो गया है ये अरेंज की था क्या है गुरुद्वारा शेफर्ड बुश लंदन दी दोनों और पाकिस्तान दे टूरिस्ट बोर्ड दे चेयरमैन मिस्टर बुखारी और यू आई हैं ते होर सारा कठे थे हो गया है और ये बोल रहे हैं जहाँ के कर्तारपुर दा प्रोजेक्ट है जो के जारी किया है उधे बारे ये दर्शन के सामने के किसे ताई पहुँच रहा है ते होर जड़े इतिहासिक गुरुवारे पाकिस्तान में जान उन्होंने ये देखपाल वो किस तरह करेंगे जेड़ा के सिख कॉम्बस पे बड़ी बड़ी गल होएगी जेकर उन्हें गुरुवारे अंदा संगीत का नाम वो हाल देखन उन्हें ये संभाल दें ठीक है उन्हें ना जो भी as well as work of committee here who they call it here but I think who was the other Lord had good one and this a mom today is a day it's an initiative held by friends and very close friends and some of the top businessmen religious and political figures of the country of Britain of Sikhs to kind of come together and we want to talk about all the top areas and all the top pilgrimage spots that we have in pa in Pakistan, um, Sikhism is uh, plays a, has a very vital role in Pakistan as some of its top ten uh, uh, ziyarats and areas, uh, religious pilgrimages are there. So Qatarpur was the beginning point. What the Prime Minister basically uh, opened up in the first three months, I believe that's a stepping stone. We have the first phase of Qatarpur completing at the end of the, this year. Uh, after that, we've got a, from Guru Nanak Sahib, we have an underground. Uh, train station we're trying to make uh, to uh, Gurdwara Astan uh, as well and we're looking at the second stage of Qatarpur along with the nine other areas and the forts and the palaces that are all uh, part of the uh, Sikh religion. So I think it's a great opportunity for uh, the Sikh faith to get involved in their own uh, religious practices in, in all the countries including Pakistan. My name is Khalid Mahmood, Member of Parliament for Birmingham, Peribar. 
We're here today at the minister from Pakistan for the overseas minister that is here. So, this was the RNK, Chandan K promotion, JDA, or the tourism. But as you coach, I take it, communities are the head, Sikh community or Punjabi community, Pakistani community, or opposite relationship, JDA build up Kare, or Kyoka Sadeko, a bra asset, or Sadizabane. As you say, Eko is a band of Chaldea, Eko come Kardeha, Sadisamil hair, Agurziaki, Nurke Deko. कि अगर दो बंदे खलते हों तो आपको लिख सिख होए तो एक मजाबी पाकिस्तानी होए तो तो अनुकूल डिफरेंस नहीं पता नहीं कि क्या कौन अंग्रेजी बोल रहा है क्या बंदा बोल रहा है तो इस हिसाब से चांद है कि एक चीज़ जड़ी है गठिया हो सारी कम्युनिटी ने गेट आके चलिए थैंक यू माय नेम इज़ जसविंदर कौर � I was invited by Gorpreet uh, Singh to come to this event, firstly to network with a lot of our other Sikh Gurdwari, and secondly, um, the main reason we are here is to um, listen to the Pakistani Minister of Tourism. I'm going to ask uh, Sukhjeevan Singh, Hi Sukhjeevan Singh Ji, from Sampal Gurdwara Saab, to say a few words, a few spiritual words, before we make the start of today's proceedings by Chikasa. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh, a very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, today I'm representing from Sikh Council UK as well as a number of Godwaras. We represent the largest, we're the largest representative body of Godwaras across the United Kingdom. And today really the reason that, they, that we gathered here is a story of two narratives, not one but two narratives. The first narrative is a narrative that began 550 years ago. Myself, as a Sikh historian, a Sikh researcher, when we reflect on the time of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the first image we have is of Nankana Sahib, of a land that was known as Sandalbar, an area of what is now presently Pakistan. On one end there was the river Ravi, and on the other side there was the river Janab. And it was as if it was a great monarch amongst all states. And the two rivers were providing a cool shade uh, over this beautiful state uh, where Nargana Sahib Rai Poedi Talamandi, as it was known there, was. And that's where Shri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the founder of our faith, came about. That is the first narrative and the reason that we gathered here. The second narrative is that of 72 years ago. 1947, where the whole, um, the shift of our Sikh history completely changed and the fundamental part of our daily worship, our ardas, our supplication, our call to the Lord, we modified it, we had to change it and we included the words that Shri Nankana Sahib, Panja Sahib, Kartarpur Sahib, Dera Sahib, that we feel a separation, a longing for ona de khulle darshan didar, te shiva sambar dadar, that we wish for their open vision to go and visit them and to take care of them and their upkeep. We included that in our ardas. Um, and I think that's the reason, that's the actual reason that we gathered here. It's to say thank you um, on the efforts of the Pakistan government and the community for the Qatar Prasai Corridor and also to rekindle, rejuvenate that relationship that we have, that we have had from the advent of Sikhian. We will begin with those words, Shri Nankana Sahib, Qatar Sahib, Dera Sahib, Punjab Sahib, all of those Gurdwari that we long, every Sikh longs to go and visit, that we're all given darshan, so we're all given a chance to visit them. And we always finish the Ardas, and we're going to begin today's um, meeting, today's discussion with the words, the universal words, that Sikhi is a universal religion. Nanik Naam, Chardi Kala, Tere Paane, Sarvat Da Pala. Thank you, Sukhjeevan Ji. That was a very apt introduction. I'd like to thank everyone here 
for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us. Uh, we felt this was a very important opportunity and we wanted you all to be here. It's uh, unusual to, in this day and age, to receive an invitation from a Gurdwara to an event like this. Usually we would be calling you to an account part or some Kirtan program, but to an event like this is very unusual. We are the Central Gurdwara Khalsa Jatha London, the oldest Gurdwara <coughs> in the UK and indeed the Western Hemisphere, established in 1908. Since being established in this country, this is one of the things we had been doing back in that day. Uh, we would arrange dinners and events for the political classes and for the people there, the diaspora in the UK at the time, so they could engage with the politicians and work on improving things back at home. Indeed, prior to partition, you would see Hindus, <coughs> Sikhs, Muslims, all brothers and sisters meeting at the Gurdwara, <coughs> discussing the overthrow of the British. So the Gurdwara has a history in this. We are living in interesting times. The Qatarpur Corridor project has commenced. We're seeing a great deal of cooperation between the Pakistani government and the Indian government. And to us Sikhs, it's an amazing thing. We, a lot of us have a lot of links with Pakistan. I for one too. My father was born in uh, what is now Pakistan. He, uh, near Jhelum, a pin called Nila. He grew up in um, Karnival, just outside of Muldan. And then after partition, they, originally, they first went to Gridaspur. He didn't quite like it in India, he came here, and I ended up being born here. So, we, for many of us in our families, we would listen to stories about the days in Pakistan, the different towns, the different foods, the different histories. So, we've got an important opportunity. One of the things I said to Syed when speaking earlier, I said, you've got a big responsibility on your shoulders, but it has to affect a very important and meaningful change for many, many people. And I really look forward to the day that I can wake up, have kulche and chole and amratsar and go to Lahore for kulche without having to worry about a strict border crossing. So let's make, make a start with today's proceedings. I'm going to hand the microphone over to Syed and let him talk to yourselves about the work he's been doing. Thank you all for coming. Um, I want to thank all the, the lords, the MPs, all the religious faculty here and everyone from the Gurdwaras and my friends as well and, and most of all, uh, Mr. Peter Verdi for uh, hosting uh, such a wonderful event for me and uh, allowing me to get involved uh, with the community. Um, the purpose of an event like this uh, has various dimensions. Uh, two that were mentioned previously, but from being a Pakistani, it has uh, a complete different uh, aspect to it. it. It, I guess, it all began when our, our recent Prime Minister uh, of Pakistan, Imran Khan, took office as Premier. And within the first three months of his uh, Premiership, he, he really wanted to emphasize on opening up Qatarpur and, and emphasize on giving uh, Sikhism that religious freedom that they deserved uh, for one of their most holiest uh, sites in the world. Um, by the grace of God, he succeeded and he opened it up well. Um, and the point was is that when he took over, he assigned himself as the chairman of the task force for tourism. The reason he did that being a prime minister, which was a little bit of an odd position to also take while you're prime minister, is because he, there's nothing more he believes in for being the next revolution in terms of industry or being the next industry for Pakistan than tourism itself. And within tourism, the, the lowest hanging fruit and the most important fruit in, in his mind and in mine is religious tourism. Uh, Sikhism is one of them, Buddhism is another, Hinduism is another, and Islamic uh, tourism from the saints that we have in our region uh, is, is another. Um, all have similarities, they all show the the how much importance we give towards 
shrines and holy places, the energy, the blessings that we can gain from, uh, from such places is something I think in this government holds a huge amount of value. Um, when he took over as, task, as the task force chairman for tourism, um, as his uh, tenure got, he got more into his tenure, he decided that uh, he obviously has a lot more on his plate. So we created a national tourism coordination board in which he then handed it over to me and, and made me chairman of it. Um, along with that, there's another department which is, which, is, which is running heavily into losses. It's called PDDC. It's also the Pakistan uh, Tourism Coordination as well. It, it didn't have a meeting, a single board meeting for the past five, six years. I held the first one after uh, five, six years, about two weeks ago. Um, and it showed you the lack of importance we probably played to one of the most important, important industries, which we feel uh, is it. So since I took over uh, to become head of tourism in Pakistan, um, the first meeting that we held was uh, focused, and my focus was around um, religious tourism. And in religious tourism, Sikhism was, was uh, right up there because uh, as you're well aware, and probably better first than I am, you have over 10 important uh, religious places of pilgrimage in Pakistan. Kartalpur was just the beginning. It's one of the most important, but the point was this to have the Prime Minister launch Kartalpur, that from Kartalpur we can go to all the other shrines and all the other gurdwaras that you have around Pakistan. You have forts, you have palaces of Sikh heritage, which need to be uh, uh, ra unraveled and explored. Um, so this was the, the basic vision. It was a vision of uh, humanity and interfaith. Uh, but at the same time, it's a vision of for Pakistan to create an economic driver, which is tourism. Um, we want, we, we must be honest, and I said it in an interview earlier, that in order to give you utmost uh, credibility in us, we have to show you uh, our honesty in this. Um, Pakistan at the moment does face economic and is in an economic crisis. Uh, it's an uh, economic instability rather. Um, and we're working very hard to overcome these problems that we've inherited from the uh, previous government. So since our focus is on that and since a lot of our money, our expenditure, our GDP gets used for various things, education, health and so on and so forth, and tourism being such an easy potential to tap. I thought there's no better other way but to reach out to the Sikh community itself, globally. Today I'm here, in July I'm gonna be in the States and I'm gonna be reaching out to them and having an honest, frank conversation with them. A, to the religious leaders that we want to get involved and have their input on how we supervise and how we make their uh, religious places better and appropriate for what they feel is their pilgrimage, how do we supply all the facilities that you require, um, and also to the business community. Um, you know, I would, there would be nothing more that would mean more to the Prime Minister and to me that if we had the Sikh community from all over invest into their own religious tourism in Pakistan. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good profitable business, but at the same time, you, you have your religious element uh, in it also when Iraq was uh, was in war and after all the calamities of war when it came out, uh, Iran invested heavily into all the religious places into uh, Iraq and you saw a lot of people come up with uh, new hotels. I had a, we, in, in one of the cities in Iraq, there's a five-star hotel made by a Pakistani who isn't religiously motivated but he looked at it as a lucrative business uh, to go into. So this is something that we want to create around Sikhism. Um, we're going to be completing phase one of the Qatarpur corridor by uh, end of October 2019. Uh, we're going to be hoping to get to completion. I personally have seen uh, FWO's plans with the Prime Minister on it. We took an hour presentation and it's absolutely beautiful. And in phase one, it includes your uh, Nangar halls, it includes the communal bathrooms, uh, uh, some of the uh, um, resting areas and and the shrine itself uh, and then phase two is something which we um, then will inaugurate straight after we the completion of phase one um, but it's something that we want the community to be involved in 
Um, I think this is, with everything that's happening in the world today, it's important that we understand how significant this is. Um, we, we know relations uh, between India and Pakistan have been up and down. Um, I don't think this in particular initiative, let it be Qatarpur or driving Sikh tourism has anything to do with that. I might be wrong, but it's my humble opinion. I believe that even in the most toughest of times, which we've seen recently, there's been no stoppage in towards uh, uh, building uh, Qatarpur and, and building on religious tourism. Uh, recently in Pakistan, I, I hosted two events on Buddhism myself um, and went to their holy shrines. And we had a great turnout from all over, from Nepal, Sri Lanka, Korea. Um, so I think if we're going to make most of an opportunity now, I think it, this is the only time under this leader. Because these opportunities don't come every day. We've all been here quite a while, some longer than others. But Pakistan has never been so open towards religious tourism in the past as it is today. So I wanted to take this opportunity. I wanted to use my friends, my brothers that I have in the community worldwide, and reach out and say, come to Pakistan and come explore your areas, come see what you can do. Uh, and, you know, we will stand with you shoulder to shoulder and facilitate you in every way. You know, we're building a, we've, we've named a, a railway station uh, after uh, Baba Guru Nanak as well, we've called it. Uh, we're building a special tunnel um, from Guru Nanak Sahib's uh, Darga all the way down to Gurdwara uh, uh, Janam uh, Astan. It's called, so there's underway, under underground railway going there to another Gurdwara. So we're creating that connectivity is what I'm trying to do uh, in once since I've been handed the responsibility. I want to create an easy corridor for when you guys come for your pilgrimages, where you can, you can get from one place to another. We've got free shuttles. We've opened uh, six month visas online. We've got yeah, for 182 different countries. We've got five countries that have visa on arrival, which is the first time. Again, I will state that these systems are new. You know, we are faced, we are facing a 70 year backlog of, you know, uh, sort of an, um, red tapeism and government that wasn't running as efficiently as it should. So you have to also give us uh, time. It's not only with the Asi community or a particular community, it's also with Pakistanis from different, all over the world, sometimes online systems are working as well, sometimes it is. So you have to give time that will be increasing. And I know there's an increase in numbers required. We started off with 500 uh, for Sikh pilgrimage programs. I was in the meeting myself when we said we need to increase this number within the next six months to 5,000. But what we wanted to do was test a system, pilot test it, and make sure it doesn't fail so when pilgrims come they don't have uh, any problems. So, you know, these are facilities which were never there before. You were only allowed for 15 days. Now you're allowed for 30. You're only allowed in designated areas of pilgrimage to visit and, and go back to your respected countries. Now you're allowed to, you're free to explore Pakistan. This is, again, not something that we're doing as a favor. This is a benefit to us. If you come for five days and you spend four days uh, in your religious pilgrimage or three days in your re religious pilgrimage, it's our job to entice you and come see our mountaintops and our hill stations and our places. And that's something for us to uh, work on. So the point being is, is that we really, really uh, want to uh, have the Sikh community world over contribute. And, and the reason why I'm emphasizing it and traveling the world to do this is because this year is a very special year. Uh, this year is a 550th uh, birth anniversary of, of Guru Nanak Sahib. And um, as, as a Pakistani, we want to celebrate it in, in a very elaborate fashion. Um, we want it not to be just a national event, but we want it to be covered globally. Um, so for this, it's all well and good, me and, me and my board talking about what we can do and what we can't do. But it's, it's much better if I get suggestions and I have you guys involved in if we do a seminar, exhibition, some conference around it, and build up the hype uh, for what it deserves. So for this uh, is why I reached out to friends in the community. Um, before we move on, I just want to again thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for humbling me uh, and giving me this moment uh, to share the thoughts of our Prime Minister in our country with all of you. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really does mean a lot. Thank you very much.
and uh, welcome to everyone today. Um, can I just say firstly thank you to Syed. I think um, he's absolutely right. I mean, what's been absolutely incredible about um, having Imran here is um, having a moderate leader for Pakistan who has a vision to really take the country out of some of the biggest challenges it faces, especially in terms of economic instability and security and safety. And no doubt, you know, something we haven't talked about, but there is a faction of religious intolerance in Pakistan. So the, the government, whilst it faces huge, huge challenges, has actually come out being very open and very transparent um, and very clear in terms of some of the objectives that they have for Pakistan as a whole, but also Pakistan in terms of its relations much more broader. This year is the 550th uh, anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and it's a really important time and I really welcome that Imran has been so forthcoming and uh, extending a hand to the Sikh community in terms of the Qatarpur corridor. I think, you know, we want to see more Sikhs visit uh, Pakistan. I certainly, I want to go. I haven't been able to go as yet and it's been great that maybe there will be a group of parliamentarians going to Pakistan as a delegation. Um, sometime later on this year because there are so many, I think I read somewhere 170 Gurdwaras in Pakistan, many which have not been restored or reclaimed uh, and they are in dire need and obviously they have the Prabhupada Committee there set up um, and uh, it's been great that uh, the, the government has been very supportive in the work that they want to do but of course they need the support of the diaspora community wherever they are in terms of that investment and really um, understanding our history and, and documenting that, um, quite fascinating. I think what's on everybody's mind is always going to be around safety and what if governments changes in the future um, and what, a, what, what about um, any kind of barriers in respect of the Qatarpur corridor. I mean, I think the talks in April um, that didn't go ahead um, before the elections, um, you know, is something that everybody was following quite closely. I'm, I'm very hopeful that those talks will resume between Modiji and Imran Khan. But I think also important that we have our Chief Minister of Punjab as well uh, as part of this conversation. Dialogue is always important. It's never going to be easy. Um, and certainly as politicians, one of the things that we would encourage is that there is dialogue between India, Pakistan, as difficult as it is, we've got to have difficult conversations as well as conversations that help take us and our long history forward. And I think that's really important. So I'm really um, pleased to hear from Sai today in, in such a frank way and his welcome um, to the Sikh community in terms of visiting Pakistan. And uh, delighted that you know the dates have been increased. Visa uh, is always going to be very difficult, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm sure we'll be quite patient with that. So um, yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Sahib Bukhari Sahib, the chairman of the Pakistan Tourist Board. We are delighted and welcome you here to address the Sikh community on the religious tourism projects in Pakistan. Sikh community around the globe appreciates the wonderful step that the Kartarpur project that is taking shape. Government of India and Pakistan are doing their best to make this project a success. The dream will be fulfilled when all the necessary facilities are in place. Visiting tourists are suggesting for free train journeys from border to Kathapur and visa exemption. This should be considered as it would be a great attraction to the tourists. Kumanik Devji built Kathapur after completing his travels within India and abroad in 1520. He always gave greetings by saying Sat Kathapur and I think that is how he chose the name Kathapur. Pai Nanaji also assisted Guruji in building Kathapur, who later became Guru Angad Devi. Now, after 72 years, with the blessing of Guru Nanak Devji, Kathapur is coming into shape. Guruji was born in 1969 in Nankana Sahib. This name derives from the religion name of Guru Nanak. His approach of love and equality and humbleness is a noble act of highest order. 
a Punjabi shire has said, he was named as Bulle Shah, Nanak Shah Fakir, Nanak Shah Fakir, Hindu ka Guru, Musliman ka Peer. Guru Nanak said, Sabana Jiya ka ek data, so may visar na jaya. And this is said by actually Kabi, but it is included in Guru Granth Sahib. Our Allah, your Upaya, Kudat ke sabhadde, ek nur se sabja kubja, kaun bhale kaun mande? Kumari says again, na ko bhari, na hai bighana, sagal sangham ko madhai. And Guru Sahib says, sabra jiya ka ek data so mein visar na jai. Every village, town, and city in Pakistan before 1947, where Sikhs were living, Gurdwaras were built there voluntarily. There are very many historical Gurdwaras in Pakistan which do get common help, but still repairs are regularly needed. Gurdwara in the city of Lahore, where martyrdom of Guru Arjan Devji took place in 1606 during the Mughal rule is a very famous place of worship known as Gurdwara Dera Sahib. Gurdwara in Chuna Mandi in Lahore, where Guru Ram Dasi was born on 29th September 1534. Aminabad, Pailaloj's place, where Guru Nanak Dev stayed and had a meal there and declined to go to have a meal in a rich person's house. Hasan Abdal, Panja Sahib, Kabul, where Bardana was refused water by Bari Kadhari, who threw huge stone toward Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Pai Bala. It is a wonders, wonderful scene of nature with an abundance of water springs. I have visited that place twice. Afghans and others regularly visit this famous Gurdwara. Baba frees Jesus' place in Park Patan, <coughs> whose sayings, slokas are included in Guru Granth Sahib. I will just quote Kapal. Roti meri kaat ki, roti meri kaat ki, laman meri pukh, jina akha di chopniyan kade kade saan ke dukh. Rukhi sukhi khai ke, thanda paani ki, vek praniyan chopniyan, na tharsav ji, avoid jealousy. Other famous Gurdwara in Pakistan are Sacha Sauda, Sultan Thuk Lodi. Babe di Beir, where Guru Nanak Dev Ji stayed under the tree and Peer Hamas Gons became his father. Not to forget the Khautasa seal, seat of Guru Nanak Dev Ji carried out by Bedi lineage of ancestors, Sar Baba Khayt Singh, whose immense contribution towards Sikhism and Gurdwara management cannot be forgotten. There are charitable schools in the area of Thowa Khalsa, Kalar, Thumani, etc. are still there, but in a very bad condition. Lastly, I would like to request the Pakistan government to make Dunkana Sahib a Vatican city that the Nanakdesh masses of love, peace, and faith may grow from his place of birth, that is Dunkana Sahib. I would request Bukhari Sahib to pay more attention to these historical places, keep them in good form, so that these memorable places remain attractive to tourists from all over the world. It would certainly fetch good dividends from the tourist industry. Thank you very much. First of all, I have to say that we are real Pakistanis, me and my family. You know, my parents came to our building and uh, we were born in Africa, and every time at home, they would ask us where they come from, and uh, the family would say, you know, Hindi. And my father would, of course, say, Bhutan, that was the right thing. At home, we all speak Putwari, and as a result, our community, our, our tribe is called Putwaris. I was in Pakistan just a few weeks ago. Uh, I had gone to Punjab to 
uh, have an account part done for my grandson who was born two months ago. So I had the opportunity to tour the whole of Patwar from Islamabad right up to uh, Panjasar. Now, I first went to Pakistan in 1984 and uh, the, the impression you were given that it was a, a ghost place, frankly. It was so bad. The whole impression was so bad. But when I went there, it changed our, my views completely. And after 10 days, I wrote a book. I think it's a very acclaimed book throughout the world. It's called Sikh Pilgrimage to Pakistan. At that time in 84, only a handful of Sikhs used to visit uh, Nankana Sahib. But after my book, the Jathas, Jathas started going there. And I was happy to see last year that there were 35,000 Sikhs at Nankana Sahib. The Honorable Minister has talked about tourism. And uh, I've been telling Pakistani authorities I'll uh, give them an example of Shakespeare. I said, look at Shakespeare. Shakespeare and Stratford upon Avon. I said, millions of tourists, they come here. I said, if only the government of Pakistan can develop Nankana side, promote the poetry of Baba Nanak and Baba Farid. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's wonderful to be here. And really, I wanted to come to uh, this event uh, just to say I've actually had an opportunity to lead delegations into Pakistan twice. And at the first time I was in uh, Pakistan, um, I actually requested the then president that I must be able to visit one of the holy sites um, for the Sikhs and uh, they actually arranged it so i was able to do darshan at panja sahab which was quite difficult because it's in a different direction where there was quite a lot of unrest towards Peshawar. so but it was such a great experience for me to be able to do that and i really have to thank you and your government um, at the time that they enabled me to do the Dushan. But unfortunately, in that visit, we did not have time to go to Nankana Sahib, which has been one of my wishes to be able to go, and my mother, who was in fact also born in Raupindi, like other people here. So uh, I had promised her that at some point we will be able to do that. So that's why I really welcome the opening of the Qatarpur Corridor, because I think it will really enable people from here, but also from um, throughout Punjab and India Sikhs who would very much like to visit. And I take on board the points made by our honorable person before me, who said it's really important that we try and ensure that there is good access for people. Nothing will frustrate them more if they've made the journeys to be there if they're not able to attend. And, and especially in this auspicious year where we have you know, the birth anniversary of Guru Nanak. Thank you.